guys welcome back to my channel we are going to be testing out a new foundation from covergirl and the name of this foundation is full spectrum now this is the foundation that we are going to be trying out this is 12 dollars on the ulta website 20 available shades on the website and this is a matte ambition all day shine free foundation and this is deep neutral one also we are going to try out the concealer I believe six available shades on the Ulta website and this is also $12. This is the shade Deep Cool and it comes with a pump. Uh, this is breakable and you get one fluid ounce. Let me just swatch it right here. So this is the second darkest to neutral. Neutral one and neutral two. So I picked up neutral one. Oh, this is really thick. I have a high smell. Like the fragrance is very strong don't say much about the foundation it just says designed to bring out your truest tones matte ambition all day foundation from full spectrum is transfer resistant provides all day comfort with oil observing powders for a natural matte foundation finish if you guys want to try this foundation out they also have a matte primer on the website but i didn't pick it up because i have dry skin as always i'm going to leave this on my hand to see if oxidized i hope it don't oxidize i'm going to use a primer for my face this is from the ordinary I'm just gonna take a little bit and put on my face I'm just gonna put a little bit here this is pretty thick girl hopefully I get a full coverage with this so I'm gonna take my BH cosmetic brush Wow this is so thick I'm happy I picked up neutral one because I was so scared to pick up neutral two there's a new trick that I'm trying out. Instead of putting foundation under the eyes, just put a concealer and see how it works because sometimes I have little issues under my eyes. This is a beautiful foundation, girl. You see this? This is a full coverage foundation. I think I'm liking something right now. So I'm just going back and forth a little bit and I'm trying to blend out the foundation. It's just a flawless foundation and I'm just gonna take it down in my neck a little bit it feels very comfortable on my skin as soon as I start putting this foundation on it's a very thick foundation I did put too much on my face but that's okay I just wanted to do that to see if I get a full coverage but you don't have to put too much on your face because it's a very thick formula I'm gonna give this foundation I probably 20 minutes to see if it oxidized I don't think it oxidized and that's that's pretty good for me because I don't like foundation that oxidized and it just look really bad on my skin and I have to do extra work but with this foundation I could tell you guys right now I'm, I'm loving the coverage it smells really good I like I like the fragrance even though it's a full coverage foundation it's not heavy so that's a plus so this is what the foundation looks like after 20 minutes it did oxidize a little bit nothing much but i'm gonna go ahead and put the concealer on now this is the new full spectrum concealer i think i told you guys what the shade i picked up which is deep cool so while this foundation is on my face i actually feel in a little tightness let me just show you what shade that i picked up i think i needed a brighter shade okay so i'm just gonna put yeah i think i needed a brighter shade this is too dark and a lot of product is not coming out so you gotta go back and fold every time and this also have a fragrance smell it's like the same smell like the foundation and I'm shaking my head because it's burning me I'm gonna use one of my dewy spray oh my god it's burning and I'm just going to blend that out really quick I'm trying to blend this out really fast and set it because it's really burning. So I use my favorite setting powder. This is from Revlon. Right now, this looking okay. I'm not sure if it's going to wrinkle under the eyes. Everything looks, I really like how we're looking right now. But it been a few hours since I got back on camera. Foundation holds up really nicely on my skin. 
only thing I could say this thing is so tight girl there's something in the foundation that burning my skin when I put the foundation on in the beginning I I was not feeling any burning sensation my mascara kind of messed up under my eyes so I went in with a little bit of foundation just to clean up a little bit and it burns it really burns don't like the concealer and the foundation for my skin type because it burns and it's too tight for my skin. This is pretty good for oily skin. You guys are gonna love this. The concealer as well. I'm not gonna recommend this for anyone that has dry skin. This is gonna be too much for us because I have dry skin as well and right now my face is so tight. I feel like I got Botox somewhere like, it's like really tight. I love the full coverage. It sits so well on my skin. And you really don't need a lot of it. I just love how it looks on my skin. And this is like the first time I think in this year that I actually got a shade from CoverGirl that really looks good on my skin. I won't recommend the concealer if you have sensitive eyes. This is not the shade that I would pick in the future. It looks pretty light in the bottom. When you swatch it, it's a little dark. Definitely would not be buying this or using this anymore. I'm going to return this because I know that I cannot use it and I don't like to blend out so fast this is not working for me so stay away if you have sensitive skin and stay away if you have dry skin nice. to try okay. this out if you only could find this on the outer website for now I know I have a neutral to golden undertone so sometimes I go for that I'm still learning how to pick up my foundation because when a new foundation comes out it's always a different tone different numbers different names give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know in the comments below what you think about the foundation on my skin is let me know in the comments below what you guys think until next time guys bye